Buenas, buenas. Hello, everybody. And Fatima, Nightbot gets no breaks. <laughs> None at all. But hello, everybody. <laughs> How is everyone doing on this fine? I was going to say Saturday morning. It's not morning anymore. My clock is, is a little bit broken today, but welcome. Hi, I almost said good morning again. <laughs> But welcome, everybody. What are we going to be up to today? What are we going to be reading? Have we finished any books since last night? Do let our girl know. I did finish. Then she was gone without the and at the beginning. She was just gone. Um, and so I finished that this morning and that went like I listen. I was expecting something like otherworldly, something like so good and like groundbreaking. no. No, 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 it was, it just was, it was like very average. It wasn't horrible, but like, it wasn't the best thing I've ever read. So I gave it a three star, you know, like it was good. It was fine. It did what it had to do. It was very predictable and it was just a journey. And now we're done with that. And I am going back into Mort. I am a hundred pages into this exactly. So I have 157 pages left, which if I do say so myself, I do think I'll be able to knock out today and finish the book out. So hopefully that'll be the case. Hopefully we'll get to finish this during sprints and that'll be my third book finished for the weekend, which would be very, very nice because as the week goes on, <laughs> I will pick Words of Radiance back up. And so I'm just trying to sort of like annihilate <laughs> my TBR this weekend so that I can focus sort of not exclusively, but like mostly on Words of Radiance this coming week and also A Curse for True Love. And so that that's the plan. That's kind of what we're aiming for. And so more is next. I did start this, obviously, and I'm really enjoying it. Um... So I'm having a good time. It's like super cozy, but like super comedic. I know the book is about Mort, but honestly, my favorite character is Death. <laughs> and so I'm having a great time with it, which I didn't think I'd say, because I know that for me, anything that's like borderlining on like that fantasy sci-fi sort of like intersectionality of genres, but is very comedic is not something I tend to enjoy a whole lot. And I was a little bit scared because I know that the disc world <laughs> doesn't take itself too seriously when it doesn't have to. I mean, the whole concept of like, it's a world riding on a turtle with two elephants on top. And then I can't like a flat earth on top. I listen, I can't remember the like the structure of it. It's actually on the first page. We can look it up. It is a world where, <laughs> in a world, <laughs> uh, where is it? Um, uh, wait, um, after all death, I know, I know the intro. I've read it many times. Um, uh, okay. Yes. Um, it's not a sphere at all, but the disc world, which is flat and rides on the back of four giant elephants who stand on the shell of the enormous star turtle great at two win lovely and then there's like a <laughs> there's like a waterfall so you know like it doesn't take itself too seriously when it doesn't have to which is honestly quite refreshing i really am enjoying mort and i had heard that this was like the very first the very first the very best to start with it's like your very first um disc world experience and i'm really enjoying it i don't know because i'm intimidated by the rest of the disc world i'm not gonna lie so i don't know that i'm going to go into like any other series but i definitely for sure want to keep on going with mort and I think, because I did sample the audios, I'm not going to do it for this one because Mort is not divided into chapters. It's just like a single thing. <laughs> and so if I were to pick up the audio now, um, it I wouldn't be able to like find my place just because it's not really divided into chapters. But I think that for the next Mort book, I do not Mort, death book. Is it Mort or is it Death? I think it's Death. Um, for the next one in the series, I do think I may just pick up the audio because I think that'd be quite fun. I did sample it and I think the narrators are doing a really great job with it. So we'll see. Uh, but yes, what's everybody going to be up to? Let a girl know. Uh, hello, Mel and everyone in the chat. Let's have another great, great -thon. Uh, What's on the TBR list tonight? I... Honestly, I'm just aiming to finish this. I can't imagine that I'd finish it too soon after the sprint start that, I'd, that I'll be able to like pick something else up. But this is the focus. If I finish this, then I guess I'd pick up Long Shadow maybe? I'm not too sure. But again, I can't imagine that I'd finish this book too soon after. Maybe, I, listen, I don't know. My reading pace this weekend has been quite fast. 
So maybe. I didn't think about that. I don't know. Well, we'll see when we get there. Veremos cuando lleguemos, señores. Uh, but hello, Lena and Caitlin, Emily, Kaylee, Janet, Lakia. Oh, my mom got a cat. Hell yeah. Pix incoming in pet discord. Absolutely love it. And I can't wait to see it at some point. If not during the sprints, then shortly after. Uh, hello, Sophia. Hello, Kristen and Jojo and Elizabeth baking. Ooh, pumpkin cinnamon rolls. That sounds good. And listening to my roommate is a vampire. 20 to 30 pages out from finishing one for my enemy. Uh, how are you finding Mort? I'm reading the next book in the death series, Reaper Man. I am really enjoying Mort. Again, didn't expect that I'd love it all too much, but I find it quite endearing. The <laughs> this like weird partnership that Death and Mort um, have uh, have stricken up, stricken up, stricken, stricken. <laughs> um, you know, I find their their partnership quite endearing, even though he lacks a bit of patience for Mort. But I love that Mort, and I don't know if that's the intent. That's just how he reads to me. But I'm like. Mort reads very neurodivergent to me, which I absolutely love. And I don't know if that's canon or not um, within the series, but I love that he is just so curious about the world and is full of questions and his attention span is very short, but he also like hyper fixates on like the tiniest of things. And when I tell you, I lost it when Death had that line. Oh, what was it? It was something along the lines of like, I could really like, kill like I, I could murder a curry right now I lost it like the book is actually quite funny and so I'm having a good time with it which I again did not expect to say uh hello Kristen I think I already said hello Kristen but hello twice three times um <laughs> I can only stay on for a bit about to get ready for a Halloween party I've been reading the only one left all afternoon not reading but I'm prepping for nano love that then I might read first time on a live welcome welcome I'm going to finish a quart of frost and starlight today continuing golden sun and i'm scared going to start reading vesperdine cross stitching and listening to love light farms love that uh that's a holiday romance right which i mean if we are getting into that mood since october i love that <laughs> i would too if i had like any um christmasy romances to read though i do have what is it called again? The Cat Cafe? Where even is that on my shelves? Oh, I found it. Yeah, Cat Cafe Christmas. I'm looking forward to that one this year. I think it's going to be quite um, cozy and fun for the winter season. Uh, then She Was Gone was okay. You need to read None of This is True by Lisa Jewell. Okay, let me write that down because I don't want to give up on Lisa Jewell because like, I do think there's like potential there. Just not with this one. Like Again, I... It's just like, I think it's classic thriller, which it, there's nothing bad with that, but I think I've read way too many stories that have like a similar twist to Then She Was Gone. And so I, I not read, but I guess like read and watched, just like consumed in general. Um, and so I wasn't like wowed by it because I was just like, there's no other way for this to go, you know? And so it was just a bit, a bit not great. Um, I think it's great for people who don't, consume that many thrillery things or who have never read the thriller genre or who don't tend to watch those types of movies or tv shows but as a as a human being uh, as a teenager <laughs> that was all i consumed like i was obsessed with thrillers and particularly like spanish thriller movies let me just say something the spanish are doing it different the spanish know what they're doing because they have some like absolutely fucking crazy twist um in their stuff and so i know for me i think that conditioned me to kind of like my brain to be like very active and so ever since i'm just like i'm working overtime during these <laughs> thrillers and so i need something with like a good twist none of this is true okay i just wrote that down in the ugliest way possible because i am wearing my arm brace so this is like <laughs> this is where we're at um a disservice truly um, to my handwriting, but you know, it's just, it's just where we're at. Uh, isn't Mord William Shakespeare? Not this one. <laughs> you would not catch me reading Shakespeare, um, out of free will. Not anymore. Um, where am I? I'm reading Babel, but I'm thinking of reading a book in between because that book requires a lot of brain power. It truly does. Ooh, 
has just jumped. <laughs> Trying to get 75% to the eye of the world this weekend, but not as much downtime with a sick toddler as one would think. I am 45% through. Listen, hopefully the toddler feels better progressively. And, you know, anytime you can squeeze in to take care of yourself, not only just like the reading, but also just to make sure that you're getting your downtime, I would, you know, I would say that's great. Uh, the Fragile, Treads of Power, the new V.E. Shrap book. Veremos cuando lleguemos. ¿Qué tal está el libro? Esperemos que esté bueno. Uh, hello, Luz. Excited for the sprints. Hoping to finish my Remade of Vampire today day uh hello hello listening to the audio for survive the night and loving it so far more does me me is more now i want to read the book not i'll take all of the hellos listen i i <laughs> i'll give it i'll give them all i gave three i think i don't even know how many i how many times i said hello but yeah indeed hello <laughs> i'll be finishing the blameless don't think i'm gonna read much i have to organize school exams hello mora moriah i don't want to mispronounce any names but i think that's how you pronounce it uh i'm reading sky Skyward and some Watt, but you know, as you should, because why not indeed? Going to start Priestess of the White, finishing Yellow Face. If Mort is meant to be death in French, it's pronounced more like Aquatar. Um, I would assume so. Um, I know like Mort is something that kind of transcends like in Latin language, so I think it's similar in Portuguese as well. Um, and I think several other languages also use um, the moniker of Mort for um, death. I don't think it's exclusively French. So I don't know if he's getting it like specifically from French, if he's getting it from Latin or like where exactly like, you know, he pulls from. But I know it's a, it's a, you know, uh, an intersectional thing. Uh, hello, Michelle. I finished over my dead body this morning and will be picking up either the narrow or golden spoon. Perfect timing. My pizza was just delivered. Love that. Uh, Wayward by Emily. Amelia Hart. Emily Hart? I don't even, I own the book. I have it somewhere back there. Uh, I really like it. I think you like it. I own it. It's, it's somewhere in the shelves. Uh, I am reading The Lost Hero, as you should. It's so good. Uh, finally continuing with Percy Jackson and its universe and loving it. Uh, have you read A Darker Shade of Magic? I indeed have, and I did not like it. Uh, there are so many books that I'm not aware of. Oh, listen, and I don't think there's any way to be aware of everything because um, things are being published every day, and so it's hard to keep up with for sure. Uh, reading The It Girl by Ruth Ware, reading a book called First Test. It's about a girl who goes to train as a soldier, reading Fourth Wing, since Iron Flame, Iron Flame will be here November 7th. Uh, start at the Pisces, 25 pages in, reading Good Omens, and we have watching some Formula One in the background. Uh, how long are sprints going to be? Uh, at the very least, three hours, but I do think we're going to go over time. We'll see how things go as the sprints go along. Y'all better behave, because sometimes the chat on Saturday Saturdays can be quite on hint, so as long as everybody behaves, I'll be here. Uh, do I need to read Throne of Glass before Crescent City? No, you do not. Uh, I need someone to convince me to read Wuthering Heights. I don't know about convincing. I could do it. Um, but you also have to be aware of <laughs> the fact that, you know, it may feel dense because it's not published um, in recent times. I would recommend the audiobook. It's a nice little way um, to, to what? to consume it, I would say. And if you like really morally great characters and really complex um, stories and just looks into generational trauma and, and PTSD and, and entitlement <laughs> and privilege or the lack thereof and a bunch of things in between, I would recommend Wuthering Heights. I think it's very good. I do think it stands the, te the test of time. So, you know, I, I would recommend it. I personally did enjoy it a lot. Uh, okay, yes, it's pronounced like Mariah. Awesome. Uh, reading Sleeping Giant and doing my reading journal. Oh, not the vids. So I'm stuck on my couch reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Hope that the symptoms are mild and that it's not, you know, um, it's not too much. And I hope that you feel better soon. Uh, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. 30% through A Darker Shade of Magic. So far, so good. Readings by Family Volume 6. But I think I'm losing interest in this series. Oh, no. That's sad. I do think that I think... Which volume was the one that I gave three stars to or like two stars? I think it might have been like volumes like six or seven. I can't remember, but... Um, it does get better. Like, there's one volume in there that's just, like, a really weird one. 
that I didn't really love in comparison to everything else, but everything else is good. I just can't remember which volume it was. Uh, as a French girly, I confirm it's more without the tea. Uh, I'm reading the Jigsaw Man. I have like 75 pages of Caught Up by Liz Tumford, and I am loving it, but I am emotional right now. Uh, you should read The Hurricane Wars. I'm trying to figure out if I want to read it or not, um, because I don't, I don't know. I think a lot of the criticism I have heard... Um, as of recent are things that I don't tend to enjoy in books. So I think what I'm going to do with the Hurricane Wars, because I was thinking of buying it, is that I'm going to sample it on Libby and just figure out if like the writing style is for me. But we'll see. We will see. The intent is there. Like I do want to read it. I think it looks cool. But we shall see. I will also be watching Formula One in half an hour. Hello, Sarah. I'm going to try and make a dent in Down Among the Sticks and Bones today, reading A Blade So Black and This Here Flesh. I have made the decision to read Shadowspell Academy instead of doing my essay. You know what? Sometimes responsibilities just need to be neglected for happiness. Uh, finishing a book for school, then I'm going to start Legends and Latte. Super cozy. Uh, your hair looks so pretty down i love listen i did straighten it yesterday it's it's not as straight anymore like there's a lot of frizz happening at the moment um but you know it's just when it's a, a good wash day it'll do what it has to do if not then it, it won't do <laughs> it, it won't do what is needed but you know i do think straightening it help a bit uh, because uh, when it was like in its natural state it was not it was not giving it was not giving anything that it had to give uh just don't read withering heights like a romance oh for sure not i would never advise that um i think a lot of people tend to like romanticize withering heights and i i guess i can understand why because like the romance is a big part of it but it's not a romance it has romantic elements to it like any good gothic novel does it's just you know the the romantic tone will always be there in gothic literature but it's it's definitely not like it's it's toxic to, i was gonna say toxicness toxicity um at its finest like it's wild like this this man literally asks her to haunt him like listen i just Nothing can be vouched for, okay? Nothing. Uh, love your turtleneck, Mel. Looks costly. Thank you so much. Uh, will there be a reading vlog for this readathon? There will be a weekend vlog with the readathon in it, so yes. It's just not necessarily like a 24 hour readathon vlog, although it is being entirely vlogged. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense, but yes and no. Uh, my mom and I are also buddy reading The Haunting of, Ma of Maddie Claire, reading The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I heard it's cozy and that is much needed. Finished Roost today and I'm continuing Frankenstein. I read a lot of classics, but for some reason Wuthering Heights scares me. Hopefully I will like it. I would say out of the classics I have read, which are arguably not a whole lot, um, it's one of the best ones I have read. And so I would definitely recommend. And again, the audio, um, I think it's the, the Audible original audiobook. It's really, really good. It's that's how I personally read it. And I just fell in love with it. Like it was really amazing. Uh, just popped in going to do things around the house and maybe work on a craft. Also reading Dead Silence. Uh, girl is trying to finish Legendary. Uh, started reading early. Your voice is soothing. <laughs> Listen, no, you're, you're totally good. Uh, looks like three of us are going to be watching Formula One soon. Uh, just started Wicked Fox. Ah, I hope that you love it. Uh, need a little advice. I bought the Strange to the Dreamer duet from Illumicrate and the second book came damaged and I got a replacement, but it's also damaged i don't know what to do i mean i'd probably reach out to them again so that you can either get a refund if possible or if you're like really you know hell-bent on getting like a good copy of the second book to see if you can get it replaced because at that point if it's you know if it's twice damaged i think it kind of brings up the question of is it getting to you damaged on the way or are they sending a faulty copy and so yeah i would just reach out to them again and be like hey sorry for being a pain but like it happened again, <laughs> especially with Illumicrate. Like it's the books are not only on the pricier end, but the shipping is also so freaking outrageous. It's like if I'm paying nearly $30 in shipping, I better get a perfect freaking copy. I literally will not accept anything less than that. The place I stopped in one for my enemy ended on a cliffhanger. Ooh, so I'm excited to continue. Uh, from the UK here, hello. Going to try and finish Girl Forgotten. Uh, Wuthering Heights is toxic, not romantic at all, full of cruelty, and not one character is pleasant. Yeah, and I think that's what makes the book so interesting because the characters are not one-dimensional at all. I would argue against the not romantic at all 
because gothic literature at its core like it ha does have a lot of romantic tones to it um but it's not a romance i think there's a differentiating factor between the two um but romantic just in tone sure at times uh karen slaughter before bed wait what uh oh there we go going to finish girl forgotten by karen slaughter before bed uh, uh where am i two and a half hours left at the pet store hopefully your shift is going well uh, are you going to listen to the new slayers audiobook i don't know what the hell that is <laughs> to be quite honest uh first time making your sprint hello tony welcome wicked fox is so good i do agree uh it's middle game fast paced uh, don't know that I would say that. No, but it's really good. <laughs> I I love it a lot. Uh, hoping to finish Reckless tonight and then continue Aquatar series with the last book. Just started Ember in the Ashes and I'm freaking obsessed. I absolutely love that for you. Also continuing Assistant to the Villain. So far it's reading like a fan fiction, but uh, oh, but in a bad way. See, that's not good. We don't necessarily love that in this household, but hopefully it'll turn back around. And if, and if not, then, you know, it was at least a quick read because I don't think it's a long book, right? Um, based on what I've seen. So hopefully it, it kind of goes semi-okay towards the end. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to try finishing the Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy. If you're staying for three hours, I might be able to read a bit, but I have to wake up early because I have badminton tomorrow morning. So freaking excited. Hope it goes amazingly for you. And I think we can go into the very first sprint, friends. Um, today, we're going to be doing 45-minute sprints instead of hour-long sprints, just because my brain's not that in tune with an hour. Um, and then we also just get, you know, the duality of it. Yesterday was an hour, today's 45. And that way, if anybody in the future um, does want to rewatch, you get, like, the best of both worlds. Um, and I think that's, you know, that'll be a, a good little shout. Uh, all my orphan kitties finally have names. Love that. Um, where am I? I'm reading A Diary of Blood. Ooh, and Slewfoot. Hopefully you enjoy both of those. Oh, Slayers is basically Buffy the Vampire Slayer and takes place after the events with Buffy with a new Slayer. Oh, I had no idea that was a thing. See, I'm like so out of tune. Um, yeah, I'd have to check it out to like see what's up. I do love Buffy and I grew up watching Buffy, but... I don't know that I, you know, want to dip my toes into, like, literature Buffy. I don't know. We'll see. We will see where we are at. Uh, do you have any gothic romance recommendations? Not really, to be quite honest with you. Uh, where do you get this timer? It looks so cute and cozy. Uh, the link is right there on the screen. So if you just go to the website at the top of the, of the timer, uh, you'll be able to find that. And yes, friends, let's get on to the very first sprint. And I will see you guys on the flip side.
Hello, hello, friends. How did everyone do? Let a girl know. I made myself a coffee because suddenly I needed it and I haven't had my weekly coffee. So we're here. Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. And so weekly coffee is here. <laughs> and I read uh, 62 pages of Mort. So I'm on page 162. And we officially have like, what, 90 pages left of this, I think. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I can finish it in the next sprint. We'll see what happens. I think that'd be very hot if I could. But I, you know, 90 pages is a lot. So we'll see if I can actually knock those out in 45 minutes. Um, I've done it before. <laughs> and like the font, you know, is quite reasonable. And like the small, like the, the book is small. So like, I do think it's possible to do it. We will see. We will see where <laughs> where life takes us. Uh, four chapters of In the Labyrinth of Drakes, and I now have about an hour and a half left of the audio. Finished reading Volume 9 of Chainsaw Man. Finished Volume 7 of Spice Family. Picking up Volume 8. Volume 8 is really good. I, th I think that's the latest one, right? Oh, wait. <gasps> wait, did the newest volume come out already? Please hold. I'm freaking out. Uh, <gasps> didn't it come out, like, literally yesterday? Please hold as I... <laughs> literally fetch um my ipad i'm pretty sure the newest volume came out october 20th because i know i was really pissed about that when i read volume eight and so i'm pretty sure that volume nine should be out already please hold as i investigate this situation because i just i just kind of realized that okay spy family and volume wait is it volume 10 wait whoa is it volume 10 that can't be right is it right <laughs> i can't tell okay hold up i know i read wait did i read spy family like volume 8 this year i must have because i think it came out in like may am i am i crazy am i tripping i feel like i might be wait please hold hold up. okay 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 Please hold a second. Okay, Spy Family. Is it volume 10? I can't remember if I have I read volume 9. I must have. I can't imagine that I haven't. Um this just jumped massively. Where was I? I got to page 130 of a Golden Sun. Oh my god, yes, volume 10. Is it ready to borrow? Oh, oh wait. I just clicked on volume 5. Not the thing I wanted to click on um place hold on volume 10 five weeks that's not bad because it should be getting here in about like two to three weeks okay i just placed my hold yes <laughs> okay hold has been placed i completely forgot that volume 10 had come out sorry i just had a little fangirl moment um you only have coffee once a week yes it's because of my chronic illness <laughs> i can't have um caffeine every day so i have to limit my intake because if not then my face gets super tense and in turn my Brooks system and my temporal mandibular disorder get bad. And so, yes, I, <laughs> if it's a really good week, I'll have coffee like twice. But if it's like one of those weeks where like we're borderlining on like, you know, we have a lot of live shows, we have a lot to film or we're just going to be like very social. I try and like kind of prep for that and I don't drink coffee which is why on on Friday I wanted to have coffee but I was like Mel you literally have five sets of sprints this weekend you do not want to have coffee before any of those occur and so since this is the 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 fourth round of sprints I I think it's you know it's quite overdue so we are having our weekly coffee uh finished one for my enemy and I am very unwell okay but that's good I mean not good but the book was good, right? <laughs> read 35 pages of Air of Fire, 84% done. I read some fan fiction on Wattpad, and now I'm content. And I'm content? I'm content <laughs> and happy with my life. I've been watching Hallmark Christmas movies with my mom. That's very wholesome. 42 pages, four chapters, made it to part two of A Diary of Blood. Uh, got further in both of my books. Too busy in the store today. Well, listen, we love a... Uh, we love a busy day as long as like you're being treated right, you know? Just want to sit and read. Well, hopefully we can do that tonight, Tringala. 90 pages into The Ballad of Never After. Finished Once Upon a Broken Heart this morning and immediately picked up the second book, as you should. 
As you should, it's so good. Uh, how long is this readathon sprint stream going to go for? Um, I mean, I said this earlier, but baseline three hours, but I do think I'm gonna go overtime. Again, if we behave in the chat and everybody treats everybody kindly and treats me kindly, <laughs> I think we can go on for longer. <laughs> uh, volume 10's already out. Yeah, I thought it was volume nine. I don't know how I glitched that bad, but yeah, volume i'm so excited uh hello sorry i'm late no listen you're not late the queen is never late everybody else is simply early just got back home from therapy and listen we do love therapy uh i got to 257 in wildfire got my dream job at books a million <gasps> congratulations josh that's awesome i think wait volume 11 is like the last volume like overall or like the latest one um I know obviously in Japan, like they've got a few more volumes out, but I think they're doing a really great job of kind of like doing them in tandem. I think they're only like a volume or two ahead. Um, but please tell me the series is not that short because I need more of them. Anyways, um, where am I? <laughs> and also working on shop wholesale details. I'm on page 202 in Stillhouse Lake. Uh, how do I get ebooks from Libby to my Kindle? If you click on read with once you've borrowed the book, then that should send it to your Kindle. Um, I know there are some Libby books, not all of them, but there are some of them where you can only read them in the Libby app because that's just I guess like the formatting for it but I know for a bunch of them most of them um you're able to send it to your kindle uh have you seen the spy family converse like like that like sneakers or like converse as in talk <laughs> I've got questions do they have shoes <laughs> just got here but I'm starting wicked fox hell yeah you should page 100 on king of wrath chronic pain has been kicking my ass recently but now i'm feeling a bit better so hopefully i can read again hopefully that is the case and i'm sending all the good vibes your way uh can you drink decaf tea see i don't like tea the only one i like is chai and even then it's like i have to be on like a good day to be able to drink it on its own instead of having it in latte form and so i'm not a fan of tea i have a bunch of it but it's mostly just for visits <laughs> so like my when my friends come over when my family comes over it's like they're drinking tea and i'm just drinking water um but yeah i'm not the biggest tea drinker there's just i have <laughs> i have awful memories of tea growing up because whenever i i got sick when i was younger my grandma would always give me tea and one of those times I was having the worst bout of like, I don't know if it was like indigestion only or if it was like some sort of, I guess like infection. I don't know. But I, one of the new years a decade ago, I was just like throwing up like badly. Like I even threw up in my sleep. Like it was bad. Um, and then my grandma made this tea and it was like, she made it from scratch. Like she was just like, this is like my remedy tea. And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> and I drank it and it just made me like vomit even worse. And so I think ever since then I've, I've been, <laughs> I've had a big apathy um, towards, um, towards tea and so i'm not the biggest tea person though i wish i could be like in an ideal world mel loves tea in this world which is not ideal <laughs> mel does not which is sad you know so only chai lattes for me that's like my only form of like tea drinking and even then it's not like pure tea you know so there's that it's kind of sad but it's just you know <laughs> not a remedy <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, love the Prince's Diaries reference, Mel. Listen, always a queen. <laughs> With weather change, my chronic pain is hell, is hell lately. Yes, Mel. Um, if we can get the word out. Uh, I agree. Here, it's been a lot of like thunderstorms recently. And it just like the air pressure just makes my migraines go bad. And so as of late, it's kind of been the case, which is why I've been taking it, you know, as low as I can and trying to stay away from coffee because I know that the caffeine makes like my migraines worse. But thankfully, these past few days have been sort of good because like the rain has not been too, too bad to the point where my head just, you know, starts getting that little pressure, which is not great. And so it's, it's you know, it's been better lately, which is why, again, coffee. But typically... I, I would agree. Uh, oh, sneakers. I have not seen that. I'm going to have to look that up. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, are you going to read the new Britney Spears book? 
honestly, no. <laughs> I don't know that I, it's going to sound bad. I don't know that I care enough for it, you know? Um, it's not, like, she's not one of those celebrities that I'm like, oh my god, I want, you know? I do think, like, parts of, you know, the whole backstory is, like, fucked and, like, fascinating. But, yeah, I don't know that that's, like, a celebrity memoir that I'm, like, dying to read. Uh, Tia's Life. See, I wish I could agree with you. <laughs> Today I'm giving the Night Circus a second chance. Tried it last year, but something gave me the ick about 15% in. Uh, we hate the book ick, but I want to see if it could work for me this time around. Hopefully it does. The small British girl passed out and I don't like tea. I'm so sorry. Finally here for a sprint. Hello, Brittany. Uh, hello, hello. I just hopped off hosting a 20-hour sprint with some friends. That is a lot. 20 hours is something that my brain cannot even comprehend. Uh, and went to still read a few chapters from Kind of Midnight, finished off at a very dramatic part of the story. I'm not a tea drinker or a coffee drinker. I also hate drinking water. What do you drink, Kira? <laughs> like, do we just hydrate on air? I've got so many questions. How, what? Are you one of those people that doesn't like tea or coffee or water but love soda? Because <laughs> I know a few of those. But I'm like, what do, what do we... How do... Hello? <laughs> oh, we love a Latino grandma remedy. Listen, it didn't work. So I guess it wasn't any, you know... <laughs> there wasn't any remedying to to get done with that tea. It was it was really... It was really rank. Um, yeah, that didn't help at all. I, I stayed ill for a couple of days after. Uh, I'm a Brit, so tea is my life. Uh, that's very understandable. Uh, my grand used to have Sprite, 7-Up, and apple juice when I was sick as a kid, and I still hate apple juice to this day. So I totally get being off-put, yeah, a drink like that. My acid reflux has been insane, and I thankfully love tea, so I have replaced it for coffee. Uh, but also trying to cut back on caffeine. Uh, they are gorgeous. I'm gonna have to look them up. I don't know that I've seen them. I, I mean, surely I haven't. Um, I saw the other ones they were doing. Oh, my uncle showed me... He showed me, like, two other collabs they were doing. Now I can't remember what the collabs were. But I know they've been doing a bunch of those lately. Let's actually... Is it only, like, a, like a Converse Japan thing? Or are they distributing those internationally because i like i'm sure i would have seen so like i know people in my timeline absolutely love spy family so i'm like why has nobody posted them i've got many questions i don't even see them on their instagram I literally just scrolled back to 2022. Am I missing something? I'm gonna have to Google them probably. Uh, I don't like tea, but I like iced tea, if that makes sense. See, I also don't like iced tea, but I do think that makes sense. Uh, I don't like drinking hot drinks. They make me feel sick. No, but I get that though, because there's definitely like some cold drinks for me and also hot drinks that I, I'm like, it's just like, it just, mm, it, no, it just doesn't settle well. Uh, mostly drink water and milk. I'm not a fan of soda. Milk? You oh my god, you're just like my brother. He loves just like, you know, going to the fridge, pouring a glass and just like knock it back. That's one of the that's one of the drinks that again makes me just like a bit nauseous. Just like regular milk. My dad, <laughs> he tried me to like drink it, not daily, but like every other day when I was younger cuz he's like it's going to make your bones strong. And I'm like, bitch, my bones better be strong on their own because I'm not going to drink milk like that. It is so gnarly. Still to this day, I'm like, no. I would rather not. And so, I, you're brave. I could never. Uh, I was about to say, are you okay? I would die without water. <laughs> oh, the one of the ones that love pop, but not water. Oh my God. Kira out here surviving <laughs> all the vibes. Not just vibes, Aaliyah, no. 12% of Love Light Farm, so cheesy. I'm loving it. Not Kira, sweetheart. I'm gonna need you to drink some agua. <laughs> Oh my god, very proper water is the only reason I'm not dead from dehydration yet. Oh, you guys are something else. What makes it worse is I hate carbonation, so pop soda and some alcohol is not for me. So it's iced tea. I Okay, but ice cold. I 
Kira, you could have started by like, I don't like drinking room temperature water, which honestly fucking fair because I would not drink it. But, you know, you could have said, I just like iced water. You do like water. I was about to be concerned. Uh, milk and fruit juice. Oh, see, fruit juice is disgusting. I hate. Oh, are we, are we going to get into this during a public sprint? We literally had a whole ass debate on citadel sprints and on the discord as well which again by the way this is like the shameless daily promo of if you're not a part of the citadel yet would definitely recommend uh but i <laughs> uh we had a, a whole debate that i think that orange juice is disgusting it alters the taste of every single food you have with it and so consequently it's just it's bad apple juice is the devil's biggest creation and then every juice that follows is just not good like, I, no, we're not, no. Tringala, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're not doing that. Not Kira, Kira on your photosynthesis. <laughs> not photosynthesizing. I need to continue with the spy family. I'm still stuck at photosynthesizing. Not <laughs> photosynthesizing you guys are something else i, I just... <laughs> oh my god not milk will kill me i'm just out here waiting for the official translation of villains are destined to die to release i miss callisto oh my god i can't wait to see why y'all love this man i the last one i read was volume three and i need volume four so i need to get i need to buy it um because i'm like why is everybody ruining for callisto I don't see it. I mean, I guess I want to hear and see more of him. But I'm like, why is everybody shipping this so strongly? What have we seen that I have not seen? And so I can't wait to get there. Uh, not the come join the chaos. <laughs> Juice is a must now. I disagree with that. Nah. -uh. I know. That's just, that's wrong. That is wrong. Uh, I can't stand tap water at all. I need water iced and then ice cubes added. Prefer milk iced or hot. Ugh, no, no milk in this household. Not not by its own. Uh, but like fruit punch mouth, disgusting. That is oh, that is disgusting. I hate it. Like the more fruits it has, the worse it tastes. Like I'm so sorry. I don't like it at all. When I was younger, I used to like like the um what are they called? Like V8 splash or whatever they're called, juices. But nowadays you put a juice in front of me, I simply will not. I I refuse to. No. Or, no, I like orange juice, but it gives me an upset stomach. That's because your body rejects it, Kira. Even your body knows that it's not great and you keep drinking it. Your body is telling you, look, Kira, just go photosynthesize. You don't need me. I am disgusting. It's telling you that. It's awful. Uh, me drinking orange juice. <laughs> Watching the stream. Oh, uh, <laughs> hello, Jenny. Question, since you don't like tea as much, what's your boba order? So I, so we call it a garden milk boba here, which is basically just a regular like milk tea, just regular, just plain milk tea. And then it's got the cheese foam and then it's got like a sprinkling of Oreo at the top. Um, and I can't do tapioca balls because that gives me strong GERD. <laughs> it, my body does not like tapioca balls. Like they settle quite heavily onto my stomach. And so then I feel like a mass just like right here. Like it doesn't quite like fully go down, you know? And so I, I can't have tapioca balls anymore. But um yeah that's 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 the order just tr tried and true and i i will i will not switch it uh didn't mean to give mel an asthma attack but i live for it i'm the total opposite i hate flavored water it's disgusting to me as 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 yeah as it should be i literally if it's here's my thing i like you know when it comes to like crystal lights and stuff like pink lemonade it's like a tried and true like i can drink that flavored water everything else just tastes wrong to me i can't do it it's just no i'm over here working on my reading spreadsheet and i hear mel start cackling i see why you say the chat is wild on saturday see no 
I don't mean this. Like, this is fun. This is cool on a Saturday. My thing about Saturdays, and this is just like full transparency. Um, my thing about Saturdays is that there's just a specific energy to sprints, particularly when we start them, where there is just a lot of questions in the chat. And I get like very overstimulated. I'm like a cat. If you pet me too much, I'm just going to like just you know gonna skedaddle and so i <laughs> when i see like so many question marks in the chat i first feel like i have to reply to everything which is i know not the case but it's overwhelming and then i can't quite spot like the actual like what are people reading and like the page counts and stuff and so that's what i mean when like sundays are like a bit like overwhelming and like a bit unhinged just because there there's just too many questions sometimes um so you know this is just like the the public announcement service of like i'd appreciate <laughs> if uh you know sometimes the questions can be dialed down because it's overwhelming for a girl and then um and then yeah and then my chronic illness gets a bit triggered because it feeds off my stress um yeah there's that um yay makes the <laughs> setting boundaries sometimes makes me uncomfortable um where am i in the not i love milk uh-uh we can't do all that i love apple juice and orange juice the two worst ones uh-uh we can't do that i don't like orange juice as you shouldn't apple juice loki slaps no 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 <laughs> my looked and gave you a mugging face smell he loves wait your boyfriend he loves orange juice apple juice haters apple juice is neutral good no apple juice is actually like chaotic evil like it's not good apple juice may be nasty but apple soda is even worse fatima i hope that sarai means apple soda is even worse it's no we're not my brother loves like grape soda orange soda apple soda we can't do that in this household just like it looks first of all it looks radioactive it looks wrong and it just no we can't do that it's making me a bit nauseous too <laughs> uh orange juice plays up my acid reflux exactly your body doesn't even like it i love cranberry juice no sugar cleanest urinary tract in the country i pretty much drink water literally me i'm like i drink like four stanleys a day i'm sorry cheese foam uh-huh uh -huh. it's so good i absolutely love it let me see if i can find a picture of my boba order because it is so good and i know that i think this particular combination is like harder to find in like some other countries but um maybe like you guys can custom make it but it literally looks like this look at that <gasps> it's so good oh my god it's just amazing look at the oreo goodness at the top and then like the cheese cold foam right there and then you got the milk tea it's just it's so good it's everything it has a to be uh reading a lesson in chemistry hell yeah i hope you enjoy it i can't wait to start watching the show i'm actually starting it tomorrow um with my aunt because i've been <laughs> i've been waiting to start it with her and so i've been holding off but tomorrow we are starting it together, which is going to be fun. Uh, strawberry lemonade's good. I will say that. I do enjoy strawberry lemonade a lot. Lemonade on its own? No, not really. Uh, Mel just hates all juice. Just accept it, y'all. Uh, Wendy's has the best blueberry pomegranate lemon. Okay, but that does sound good. I don't know that we have that here. Because I'm not familiar with the Wendy's menu. But that does sound good. Blueberry pomegranate lemonade? I think I could get into that. I'm not gonna lie. I think I could get into that. Uh, me who likes orange soda feeling called out. Oh, hated. Crush, kissed, all of them. No, I can't do it. It just, it gives me an upset stomach. It's just, it's not great. I don't think I've ever had apple soda before. And you shouldn't, Kristen. Full transparency. Please don't. <laughs> Please save yourself. Uh, Mel, totally off topic. Where do you live? I'm new to your channel. and haven't watched one of your recent videos that showed a Waterstones bag. Jealous. Uh, I don't live in the UK. I can tell you that. <laughs> I live in Panama. Uh, just joining after work. Hello. How are things here? Uh, pretty chill now, which I appreciate. So we're doing good. Uh, with you, Mel. No fruit juice for me but i like juice don't drink it a lot i also have gerd so the acidic juices are a no-go uh cheese foam is elite it really really is it's like cream cheese frosting for those who haven't tried it it's so good then when you just mix everything in with the milk tea and you just get oh my god i'm just oh it's so good maybe i should have some tomorrow when i go over to my aunt's it's so good it's like it's so creamy and it's just oh it's delicious honestly 
It's just so good. A cheese foam is just top tier. Uh, I'll be reading the apartment upstairs. Started yesterday. Time to for a nap before work. Catch you later. Have a good nap. Uh, finishing all the sinners bleed. Really enjoying it thus far. When I'm sick, I drink enough OJ to burn a hole in my esophagus. And I love it. That is so like hyper specific. I hope your esophagus makes it. <laughs> Come back to see the Hayden orange juice. I feel like i love it i don't like strawberry lemonade see there's just a specific energy with like pink lemonade strawberry le whatever you want to call it, it just, it's so good it's so good uh but i love strawberry lemon water apple soda sounds disgusting it is it really really is uh trust me i don't want apple soda sounds disgusting uh, cheese on drinks sounds so weird no i promise you it's really really good when you mix everything in it just it blends in quite nicely um and it doesn't like particularly taste of cheese at least like not in my experience but it does um thicken up the milk tea which tends to be just like very you know liquidy and like runny and so it just gives it nice a nice little texture which i which i appreciate <laughs> do you at least like apple cider mel no <laughs> i also i also hope you guys can hear the the music on the street because they're playing chaquita really really loudly uh not me thinking cheese foam was made of actual cheese uh not cream cheese Blech. <laughs> uh if you guys can help me pick my next book i'd appreciate it game of thrones Ooh, or wreck the halls See, I would probably say read Game of Thrones first and then have a nice little Christmas pick-me-up later. But you just finished one for my enemy. But I don't know if you want to keep on going with like that romantic tone. So if you still are kind of like in the romance vibe, I would say then wreck the halls. Uh, do you like refreshers at Dunkin'? We don't have Dunkin' here in Panama. Sorry to report. Uh, is it actually cheese? I actually don't know if it is or it is. I would hope so if it's called cheese film. I just know it tastes good. Uh, after I was forced to drink two gallons of orange juice for a test, I hate it. See, that is cruel. That That is bad um yeah apple cider is a no-go no 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 uh white chocolate mocha from starbies it's like a hug <laughs> in a cup come on see i i have a problem with starbucks drinks okay hear me out it's gonna make sense i promise but starbucks drinks just have this very particular quality of tasting good in the first 10 sips and then when you get them to like the 11th, it doesn't taste quite right. And so I like, yes, like it's it's not horrible, but it's like you either chug it while it tastes good or you wait till it gets bad so that you can listen. That's why I stopped like buying Starbies. And really the only thing I have there are chai lattes. And even then that's like the fakest chai you can get. And so it's like, it, it really is like a hypocritical thing, but that's the only thing I, I drink nowadays because everything else just tastes bad. So whenever you see these little cups, just know I'm just reusing and recycle like a responsible um, human being. But um, yeah, I don't, mm, no. <laughs> in my years, I've learned that I prefer to make my coffee at home. Uh, how do you not like apple cider? It's also just like not a traditional thing here in Panama. So like we don't, you know, we don't have it that often. I don't know that I've ever like tasted one that tastes. Oh. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to read Game of Thrones and then wreck the halls as a refresher. Uh, you are not missing out. Dunkin' drinks are not good. Uh, not how is apple cider good. I love Dunkin', bro. See, we used to have Dunkin' when I was a kid, but then Krispy Kreme got here and um, Dunkin' closed. They literally went bankrupt after um, Krispy Kreme got to Panama. And so we haven't had Dunkin' in a while. I actually did it. I can't remember if it actually closed before Krispy Kreme even got here, but it's funnily enough, every single... <laughs> it's actually a bit fucked. But every single um, Dunkin' store that we had is now a Krispy Kreme. So, you know, it's it's a whole thing here. Uh, this taste of Starbucks depreciates with every sip. Listen, it does. Uh, she even counted the sip. 
sip, folks. It's just an example. Sometimes it could be five sips, maybe a bit more. Uh, loving ice spice pumpkin latte with oat milk at Starbucks. A chestnut praline latte with oat milk is worth every overpriced penny. I agree. I am not the biggest fan of Starbies. It has something called uh, rituals by me that make the best iced coffee, and I always buy from them. See, I find that finding a good place for coffee is difficult. Um, I have like my go-to spot for like my chai lattes, but finding good coffee is is at least like iced coffees is hard. Um, my favorite place here that like made my favorite iced coffee and my favorite breakfast in general um, closed a few months ago, which was quite sad. And so there's that. Cappuccinos are like easier to find. Like I find that a lot more people like know how to make a proper cappuccino. But aside from that, yeah, I'm just like I stick. I stick. I just hit you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, I hit. Uh, I, I hit. I stick to my coffee at home. Uh, no, that's crazy. Survival of the fittest. Krispy Kreme is gross. I said what I said. See, I'm not a fan of donuts in general. Like I'll, I'll have like a bite or two, but after that, I get the ick. So, you know. It's kind of what it is. Uh, drunken? Drunken? Yes. Duncan tastes like jet fuel. <laughs> Love their donuts, though. I think Dutch Bros or my local coffee shop has my favorite coffee drinks. I do like PSLs at my local coffee shop better than Dutch Bros. Uh, I don't have a Krispy Kreme near me, and I really want to try it. I don't know that you're missing out on a whole ton, to be honest. It's just, like, very standard. Um, I don't think there's anything quite special about them. Uh, pumpkin spice lattes are hit or miss, depending on each coffee shop. I do agree with that. Like, there's some really really gnarly pumpkin spice lattes out there um anyways yes uh let's get into the next brand i got really sidetracked see when you get me into conversations about food uh it's hard to pull myself out of it i i we got opinions in this household uh you can trust on that and so <laughs> let's get into the next one and i will see you guys in 45 minutes and hopefully by the time that we're back i will have finished more if not then i guess i'll just spend another spring reading it but hopefully you know i'll have finished it um by then i just got an email what's that anyways yes i'll see you guys on the flip side
All right, friends, how did we do? I officially have 29 pages left of Mort, so I'll definitely be finishing this on the next sprint. And I do think maybe I'll start Long Shadow next. I don't know. Should we sample it? Should we do like a little like first line try? Because I don't know what I want to start afterwards. So let's do a little a little taste test between these two books, Long Shadow and then The Godparent Trap so that we can make some decisions for after I finish more. Okay, so for Long Shadow, we have got <coughs> um, audiobook Mel is coming in. <clears throat> Long Shadow, <laughs> read to you by Mel. <laughs> Prologue. <laughs> Miss Abigail Wilder was not supposed to use her magic in front of the tea ladies. Never use your magic in front of the tawn, her father had told her. Once you do, they'll never let you rest. You'll be doing useless magic tricks until you're old and gray. Okay, I like that. I like that as a little starter. And then for the godparent trap, we have a god. Prologue. Colby. Present day. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a troll. Um, I heard the front door shut with a sudden... Yeah, no. Um... <laughs> The other one won me over. Anyways, um, yes, I'm definitely going to be starting Long Shadow after I'm done with Mort. She said I shut the door and I was like, no, no, we're not doing that. Um, yes, how did everyone do? <laughs> uh, just got Wendy's delivered for dinner and read more of Salem's Lot, passed the 500 page mark, finished my book that has taken me a minute to finish, hell yeah to it being done, page 290 in Wildfire and I'm 72% through, also worked on Spy Family Volume 2, finished three volumes of manga and for the first six minutes I was on Twitter, uh, got to page 139, finished the Summer of Broken Rules and started with a crawdad sing. Need to finish two volumes of Demon Slayer that have been overdue at my library. I felt that. I feel like all of my holds right now, not my holds, but like my borrows on Libby, I feel like all of them are running out and I have yet to read any of them. It's a bad habit. I need to get them done. Um, where am I? 10% uh, of Don't Fear the Ripper. Yes, I switch books every sprint. It's the ADHD. Listen, as long as you know which one. I uh, read 70 pages of Assistant to the Villain, love it so far, read some more fan fiction, and had a Heath Klondike bar. I got to page 42 of Down Among the Sticks and Bones, 60% through with Divine Rivals, hoping to finish today. Think I listened to 5% of Gods and Monsters, got 50 pages into my reread of New Moon, it's so bad I love it. I'm on the fourth story of Slasher Girls and Monster Boys, 25 pages, started the only one left, 78% done with Pool Boy, finished A Court of Frost and Starlight, and we'll be going into the next book. She said no on the first word. I can't. <laughs> Listen, I really loved the intro to this one. I just, yeah, no, the other one was not going to have a, a fair, a fair shot in competition. So, you know, it's just what it is. Um, yeah, it just sounds very, very good. And I know that, like, this series is, like, super cozy. And so I'm hoping that this is a good one. Also, it's, like, the sapphic one better be, like, a good one, you know? Like, I really enjoyed and loved Half a Soul. I really didn't enjoy the second one. And so I'm hoping that Long Shadow will be good. I hope that, um, what's the author's name? Olivia Adwater. I hope that Olivia Adwater uh, does the sapphics justice. Because if not, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be angry. <laughs> 33 pages and I'm about 94 pages into Heaven's Official Blessing, 28 pages of Foul Heart Huntsman. Things are getting very interesting immediately. No, <laughs> not the loving the audiobook, Mel. Glad you are. Um, it's the way that anytime I pick up a book, my brain just goes, Long Shadow, a production read to you by the author. <laughs> It's ridiculous. I really am out of it most of the time. Uh, reading Lys uh, Lucinda Riley's The Angel Tree on page 189 right now. Read like three chapters and I'm getting closer to finishing the book. I don't want it to end. I will be getting the next book as soon as I'm done and putting off my TBR. You shut the door to this book. I mean, listen, yeah. At 53% of Love Light Farms and three of four. Scrotch, scrotch, titch, 
cross stitch projects touched. Imagine your audiobook reader starting it with that and just saying no, but that's the whole audiobook. Something I do, honestly. Something I would do just to troll the people. Uh, got to page 163 of the Hurricane Wars, but I think I'm going to put it down and do some diamond painting. I was thinking about that too. I was like, damn, maybe I should do some diamond painting. But honestly, I think that Citadel Sprints tomorrow, audiobook, diamond painting, I think... I think it'll be a nice little shout um, to not read with my eyes tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll see where, you know, where the night and the day takes us. It's dinner, so I only read like 20 pages. Broke my reading slump finally. Hell yeah, Frankie. Dinner just finished cooking and looks good. About 40% done with Ghost Boys. No reading this time was eating dinner. Just got here doing law homework. Listen, hopefully it's not too, too bad or too stressful and that we can get it done during sprints. It's a nice little, you know, incentive to get it done. Got 11% into Mortal Follies, a dinner then kept reading, 36% through Empire of Storms, and 42% through Tower of Dawn. Re-listening to Twisted Cravings by Cora Riley. Ooh, a mafia book in, Kim in the Kimura series. I don't know that I've ever heard of the book. I feel like I've seen this author before, though. Uh, Red Sweat and So Volume 2 during that sprint. Please tell me you enjoyed it. Volume 2, it's like miles better than the first one. The first one was very weird, but I really loved Volume 2 and I have volume three on my Libby. So maybe I should read that tomorrow. Maybe, I don't know. What is going, how have I finished so many books this weekend? I actually have questions. It's funny too, because my most productive readathon doesn't have an isolated vlog and it's instead a part of a weekend vlog, but I guess it makes it all the more interesting. I also think this weekend vlog is going to be so long so if you get like two hour long vlogs next week, don't look at me. Just a birthday present for me to you. Um, because I also filmed a weekly vlog that I have 250 clips for that I have not finished editing. And so it's just lined up to be like a very, I mean, vlog heavy week and then long vlogs, which I don't tend to do a whole lot of. So... Merry Christmas, Happy Halloween, Happy Birthday, all of the above. Uh, I ate the dishes and more laundry. If a book gets good on page 368, can you really count it as a good book? I would say no. But that's just like me saying that like obviously like very subjectively. Like I know for me, I a book cannot be as good as its ending. And I kind of looked at that saying specifically through thrillers where whenever I read a thriller, I'm like, a thriller cannot be a, as good as its twist. Like, everything else kind of has to, like, mesh together really well as well. And so, as an extension, I kind of apply that to, like, every other book out there. It's like, the ending can be really, really good, or, like, the last hundred pages can be really, really good. But I also expect the rest of the book to be equally as good. It can be slower, and that's okay, but I need it to be, like, on par, you know? So I would say... I would say no, personally. Uh, anyone else finish the Chestnut Spring series? What's your ranking? I haven't. But we'll get there when we get there. I uh, just over an hour left in the Labyrinth of Drake, so I just need to finish it. But I really want to switch back to Crescent City right now. Listen, finish and then switch. It's a, it's a nice little treat. Reading Bound by the Past. Uh, I love the occasional long vlog, so I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for the next vlog because my bookmarks make an appearance. Two thirds through as good as dead. Hour plus long vlogs are such a blessing. Okay, thank you, Mel. I love long vlogs, so that'll be a win for me. Listen, and y'all get double ups this week so you'll get two long vlogs so again merry christmas happy birthday happy halloween uh we want all the vlogs doesn't matter how long it's 561 pages long and i just don't know where it stands yet which book is this again um yeah see i don't really love when books go like that and if it were me if i was really not enjoying my time I would DNF it, but it, it really is just kind of like up to you. And if you really want to see it through and you really want to see like what the ending is. But yeah, I hate when that happens because it's really frustrating because you feel like you're fur, fur, you feel like you're far enough into the book that you could just finish it. But then also you're dreading finishing it because you're not loving it. It's, uh, it really is the worst. Uh, I'm back. Actually, instead of, actually instead, yes, Mel, instead of actual dinner, I decided on cookies. A pop tart and a cake. 
this is like a whole other level of like girl dinner. Uh, Liv's vlogs have been helping me through my work days. Honestly, I agree. Well, I don't watch them during like my work day, but I do watch them like as I am eating, when I am prepping food and right before I go to bed. So I just kind of like split it up throughout my day. And because Liv's vlogs are so long, what I do is that I, I typically just like watch it for, <laughs> I typically watch it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and right before bed, like as I'm getting ready to go to bed, and then I'll just like finish out the vlog. And it's actually quite nice. Um, I don't tend to watch longer vlogs in a single go. I don't know that anybody really does. So it's good. It's great. I personally love watching them. I think for me, it's just like it never incidentally ends up being that long, you know? <laughs> but I guess y'all got lucky this week. Uh, I've been wanting to start Chestnut Springs. Uh, Chestnut Springs, is it good? I've only read Powerless and it was really good. I really enjoyed my time. Uh, snaps for girl dinner. Don't forget to hydrate. Girl dinner, girl dinner, slay. Love girl dinner. I got caught up on books. I get caught up on books that are not, that are both intriguing yet kind of boring. I sadly felt that for Covenant of Water, not rating it because of mixed emotions. Uh, not girl dinner and hydrate. I love that everybody just bands it up with the same sentiment. Uh, my girl dinner was an Oreo milkshake. That's not food, you guys. I mean, it's better than nothing, but like, ideally get some food in, people. Oops. Uh, look forward to Liv's videos and get super excited, especially the long ones. Whenever she's like, oops, it's an hour and a half long, I'm like, give it to me. My little goblin hands. I'm like, give it, give it, give it. I get really excited. Uh, top tip, you don't need to hydrate if you photosynthesize. <laughs> Size. I watch them in a single go. Oh, see, my attention span could never. Because see, I, it's also one of those things where I personally, I, whenever I sit down to watch TV shows or I sit down to watch movies, I get antsy after like a, a certain amount of time. And so 30 minutes go by and I'm like, oh, I need to stand up. I need to put a pause to this. And so my attention span can't handle all that sometimes. Depends on the day, but most days I just kind of split it up, you know? <laughs> I watch in single goes too. Watching long vlogs while eating girl dinner is speak happiness. Okay, but that though, listen, there's just a certain amount of joy that comes in from watching a long video while I eat crackers, cheese, and ham. It's just, it hits it's different. It does hit different. Uh, I've only read Flawless too, but I was thinking of reading Heartless soon. Long videos are superior. Love that. No idea what my girl dinner will be, but it'll definitely be a girl dinner. Photosynthesizing with cookies. That's not photosynthesizing. I am having the balsamic turkey and green beans dinner again, except they were out of turkey. So now I thought I thought you were gonna say so the way they were out of tor out of out of words out of turkey so it's just balsamic green beans and I was about to cackle at that uh, so now it's pork tenderloin it takes me two to three business days to watch Miss Liv's vlogs and I love it okay no but true though like there are definitely days where I watch more sporadically and so like I watch some while I'm like you know um what's it called warming up at the gym and then I won't watch anything again up until I'm getting ready for bed and then the next day I like I tune back into the video and honestly there's like a certain joy in that too I personally love it uh boyfriend made me chicken soup and he's the one who's sick girl dinner not required heart this is my fave out of all of them girl dinner equals random things from around the house listen it's just like random things that may or may not make sense together and you know what if it brings you joy it's just what it is uh should I go get vegan ramen a vegan sando sushi Ooh, and udon noodle See, sushi is always my answer. So you say sushi and I say yes. <laughs> or cook at home. It's a Saturday night. Might as well just treat yourself to some sushi. You can cook at home tomorrow. Uh, watch them in one go. I watch long vlogs, especially lives instead of TV, which is usually crap. We have horrible TV shows. Okay, no, but facts. I find that a lot of the time it's easier. I mean, it is like overall easier to find a video to watch on YouTube rather than keep scrolling through any, you know, sort of like streaming servers, servers, <laughs> service, um, or just like going through cable to find what to watch. I don't have the patience for that. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll just go through my watch later and just click on one of the long videos I've got saved. And that's usually, you know, it's usually what it is. Uh, just green beans would have made me very sad. She likes meat and being full. Ramen sounds so good. Someone needs to add Liv's vlogs to Letterbox. Oh my God. I need to. <laughs> I need to tell her you said that. Having a creamy chicken casserole with broccoli and peppers. Rachel, do you want to send some of that over? 
Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, I'm back from dinner. Got Chinese takeout. Had a brownie and an energy drink for my girl dinner. I prefer watching vlogs over TV too. Okay, no, but same. Like when it's nighttime and I'm just like ready to kick back and just, just watch. Put them on the TV. It's superior, especially for longer vlogs. I just kind of leave them playing in the background. Even like during the day as I'm doing chores. It's late. It's just the way to go. I literally only watch YouTube, mainly vlogs or binge on anime. Have you read the Boys of Tommen series? I have not. And I don't know that I have an interest in reading them. I've heard crazy things about that series. So I don't know if it's like all for me. Um, I'm like kind of curious, but then I see the length of those books and it's just no. Hi, Syl. I see the length and I'm like, that's too long. The romance book should not be that long. I'm okay. Actually, I'm good. Also, the biggest mystery to me is boy dinner TikToks. How is my only question? Listen, I've seen boy dinner with my own two eyes with my brother and I genuinely don't get it. Also, just like in general, like <laughs> boy portions. I'm like, how can y'all eat all of that? Like it's, listen, my brother will, he's like, I, I always tell him, I'm like, I'm okay with like not finishing my food because I know like the vacuum I've got next to me will just like take that in because it I don't know where y'all distribute all of that, <laughs> but I don't know how y'all don't just like bloat after like it's wild. It is oh, wild. Anyways, let's get into the next one so I can finish more. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the flip side. Happy productivity. And I will see you guys in 45 minutes.
Buenas, buenas. Guess who finished more? Eh, 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 eh. It's back on the TBR cart. Where is it? It's right there. And I did obviously pull out Long Shadow, but I just took like the rest of that sprint to like give my brain a little resty wrist. And I did update the vlog. And so all of those things ensued. And now hopefully in the next one, we can get a chunk of this done because that would be amazing. And oh, wait, this book is so short. Why is it so short? Huh? Wait, is this shorter than half a soul? This is 254 pages. I feel like half a soul is longer than that. 254 does not ring a bell with half a soul. Please hold as I double check this. Oh, wait, no, half a soul is kind of about that. 280. Why did I think these books were like 300 and something pages? Well, I guess there's that. So if I finish that one tomorrow, don't be surprised. But yeah, that's that was that was me. <laughs> How did everyone else do though? Uh, do let a girl know. Uh, finish volume 19 of Demon Slayer. So that means I only have to read one more volume so I can return them tomorrow. I only read 18 pages this time, but things are finally starting to get interesting. Next print, I am going to listen to the audiobook of All the Right Places. Oh wait, is that like the really sad book? <laughs> the one with like the post-it notes um, on the cover? Is that the one? Bless you. I hope you have a great time. <laughs> 71 pages of cursed crowns, boys. <laughs> I got to page 204 of Catching Fire, but I stopped because notice none of the songs on, on Spotify that I listen to have lyrics, even though they all had lyrics days ago. I talked to someone, but it didn't help. What? They just kept saying the same thing over and over again. That's odd. Uh, three more chapters and two more to go. Two and a half hours left of my audiobook. 83% now. Made it to chapter. 72 in Hero of Ages and I took a shower that sprint. I have technically 10 chapters left. <laughs> That's like so interested. Are we planning on finishing it tonight and pushing through? Questions on questions. Finished Legendary 5 stars and read 21% into my ebook. Read 15 pages of Walden by Henry David uh, that my American Lit class is reading for school. Can't wait to see what you thought about Mort. See, I gave it 4 stars. I was going to reach for the book just because it's it's a habit at this point to like hold up the book as I talk about it. Um, I gave it 4 stars. I didn't really care about like Princess Kelsey and like not Kelsey Kelly. I already forgot her name. Um, I didn't really care about like that whole thing. And so that was not something I cared about. And then I felt like <laughs> it's odd because the book is like 257 pages. But I found that like the middle of it was not as interesting and it kind of like dragged out a bit for me. And I was like, what is going on? But the the beginning, like the first hundred pages and the last 57 pages were really, really good. But I found that there was like some middle space in the, again in the middle that just like kind of wasn't that interesting. I loved seeing death though, <laughs> trying to like do human things. Oh, that was one of my favorite parts of the book. It was really, really good. Um, I read a little bit more of The Stand, nearly halfway. Such a chunk of a book. I have seen that one is long. Uh, three more chapters to go. 25 pages again of Only One Lived. Poured a resin project and switched laundry. Now I'm going to clean my room. Think I earned a bubble bath and a book. That sounds lovely. Just came back from McDonald's. Love that, Becca. Almost done with volume nine of Spy Family. Think I'm gonna go soft. DNF my current read. Trying, but I can't get into it. Listen, life is too short to not DNF books that we are not enjoying so hopefully dnfing it and picking something else will do the trick just started the gracier audio got some progress on my diamond painting and had some chai love that got to page 212 of stillhouse lake 309 of wildfire so close to finishing i love the progress it makes me so happy when people are like oh my god you're close to finish my book it's very very exciting I'm now on the sixth story 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 of slasher girls and monster boys. I'm on page 265 of Renegades, almost halfway through. Yes, I am ah, rested. That is exciting. It's the way I really want to get back into Mistborn after I'm done with Stormlight. I think what I'm going to try and do is like one and one. So, you know, read, which is kind of perfect. So finish Words of Radiance, read Well of Ascension, read Oathbringer, 
read the hero of ages and then read rhythm of war and then i mean etch dancer kind of like thrown somewhere in there before oathbringer um i don't i guess i should read dawn shard as well maybe i don't know i'll figure it out but i think that like back and forth is going to be good to kind of give me breaks in between stormlight books because <laughs> They long, they they're, they're long, almost done with Pool Boy, but then I'll be reading Grip. Uh, finally read, finally what? Finley I read. Wait, whoa, words. Um, Finley, I read that. Oh wait, is there a person called? Fin oh yeah, there is a person called Finley. Hey, I was like Finley Donovan. <laughs> finally, I was very confused, but hey, Finley, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> It's like 1 a.m. Why is this print giving me such life? I ate dinner. It was so good. Every time you say Mort, I keep thinking of the doorknob from Throne of Glass. There is also a doorknob in Mort, and it's it's quite funny. Uh, or I, I guess like a door knocker. Um, I feel like I should pick up the Inheritance games back up. I also just want to DNF it. I mean, listen, it's always good to try and like give it a try. And then if you're not feeling it, then... DNFing it again is always an option. Uh, just joined, but I've been in a massive reading slum, currently reading rereading Frankenstein. I want to annotate my copy and also reading other terrors and anthology. I was distracted for the first half of the sprint, so I only finished one volume of manga, The Moon on a Rainy Night. That's still quite good, though. Uh, but I also popped the second book weeks ago. Had girl dinner and read 10 pages of Crescent City. Last 10 pages of A Haunting on the Hill to go. My wife is reading House of Roots in Ruin. On the topic of Mistborn, I'll be finishing, ooh, Era 2 next month. Did you enjoy Era 2? I can never gauge Era 2 that well. Um, I really haven't heard a lot of people talk about Era 2, and I don't know that I'm too interested in reading it, but I also don't know if I should for, like, the sake of the continuity of the Cosmere. Like, I don't know how much Era 2 of Mistborn plays into perhaps, like, later books of Stormlight and everything else. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Um, but again, I'm not like too, it's the whole Western thing. I'm really not into that. And so trying to figure out if that's something I want to get into after I finish the Hero of Ages. So we'll see when we get there. Joined during that sprint, read two chapters of the Assassin's Blade. It's feeling a little never ending, but I did hit 50% on last night's sprint. So that is a noise. I just started the Poppy War and it's really good so far. Now I want to read Warbreaker again. Mort makes me think of that little squirrel guy from the movie about the zoo animals. I love that Mort. Uh, I need to read The Well of a but the lack of a certain character is breaking my heart. I know. And also, Well of Ascension is such a political book. Like, it's very dense at times and it's very slow going that that's why I put it down with the intent of like picking it back up at some point and then I never did pick it back up. And so I, again, need to like walk into it with the right set of expectations in that it's going to start slow and then we head into like the Sander Lange. And so. It's just kind of what it is, but I do think it's like a bit of second book syndrome a bit, but we'll see when we, you know, re-enter that world. When you say Mort, I'm picturing the little animal from Madagascar, the difference, procrastinating on laundry and reading a webcomic. Next print, I'm going to be reading my first, oh, Brandon Sanderson book, Skylar. That's exciting. That's where I started too, and it was honestly really, really great. I also listened to one of those like sci-fi, like ambiance rooms on YouTube, and made the experience 10 times better as I was reading and it was just like a really great way to dip my toes into Sanderson's work because I kind of found everything else a bit intimidating and at the time when I read Skyward I think I had not read any adult fantasies quite yet and then soon after I think I read Priory and then I read Way of Kings and I was like Yes, and then I read Mistborn and then the rest is history, but I would say Skyward is always a really good place to start um, because it's not, again, it's not as intimidating and it moves quite fast in comparison. Uh, my phone didn't tell me you were live. Listen, we're going to be here still. <laughs> we're going to do one more sprint, but you know, better, better late than never. Uh, how long are you going to be streaming for? I think we're going to do one more sprint so that we can end like before 9 p.m., so that I can go to bed, like, at a reasonable hour. 
because tomorrow we do have sprints over on Patreon bright and early. And so, well, not bright and early. It's at 9 a.m., but I do have to, like, get some good rest so I can wake up bright and early. Uh, how would you wreck... How to read Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. I mean, when I read the books, I read Empire of Storms and then Tower of Dawn. So, like, I read them um, separately. Like, I didn't do the tandem read. And I enjoyed them. Like, I really love Tower of Dawn. So, I that's kind of what I did. But I know a lot of people feel like Tower of Dawn is one of those books that you kind of just lock through. But... I didn't find that to be the case in my experience, so just depends on what you're into. Uh, is it just me or does anyone else feel like they read faster when books have shorter chapters? Oh, 100%. 100%. If a book has like 5 to 10 page chapters, even less than that sometimes, because I know some books I've read just have like 3 pages per chapter, I just keep on going because I'm like, oh, one more. Oh, one more. Because I know I can get through it quite quickly. Whereas a book with longer chapters, I'm like, yeah, I'm tapping out after this one because I just know if I start the next chapter, it's going to be 20 pages. And so 100% right there with you. Uh, Era 2 is good. Not as good as Era 1, but I kind of like the cast. Oh, of Era 2 more. Well of Ascension was definitely political and slow, but damn, Brandy Sandy can write. He can. Like that said, listen, to the people I see saying oh like he doesn't know how to write like his books are so bad i'm like wow i just listen it's one of the one of the what his books are some of the best written books i've read and they're so good because it's i don't know it's one of those things where for example like way of kings and words of radiance they're really long books do i think he could do it in less pages 100 percent but I think because of the character development that he provides in his books, I am a-okay with them being longer. Same with the political landscape of his books. And also, like, the conventions of religion is such a huge part of his literature that he can't do that in a certain amount of pages. And so, like, he does need to, like, you know, maybe be a bit more long-winded to kind of execute what he has to. And I personally really, really enjoy it. I just, oh my god, especially with Stormlight and Kaladin's character, I'm like, give me all the pages. I love Kaladin and the way that his character sort of develops throughout the story and this like back and forth between like, I won't say like depression and like not depression because I don't know that we've seen Kaladin in a not depressive state. Um, I love the fact that like in particularly the Stormlight Archive. I think maybe more so than Mistborn, like mental health is a huge part of the book. And also it's like, he's one of those authors, in my opinion, that he really does show you like war is not a pretty thing and not only in the in the physicality of like of it and like the you know a lot of people are dying which obviously is a huge part of it but the mental toll it takes to see the people that you love go through that and you yourself go through that event it is not something that you recover from quite easily and obviously in fantasy i find that it's so easy to kind of swing the other way of like you know like war is like it's cool and like it's necessary and i'm like no and like we see that in real life too and like it's just it's one of those things where i i prefer where i like when i see authors i guess like portray it for what it is where it's like it you know it may be necessary in some politics opinion but for the people that are actually living it and that are actually in there, as opposed to the people that are calling the shots, like, it's just, you know, I, I really like the way that he navigates that conversation. And so I think in that regard, the Stormlight Archive, you know, is it, I think it's why it's my favorite. It's just, it's got a different level of depth, I think, than than Mistborn. So I, I quite enjoy it. Um, How do you go live on your Patreon? By going live. <laughs> It really, I'm like, I don't know how to answer that one. I'm like, I just do. Um, It's linked to Patreon, so you, like nobody else can see it. But people who are members of Patreon, which the next I'll plug, make sure that you're uh, pledged to Patreon if you want more sprints. Um, but yeah, I just, I just click 
start streaming and that's kind of what it is uh i'm grabbing on oh i'm grabbing on sushi and udon and sake that sounds so good short chapters are that tasty pacing i do agree with that for sure uh it's sweet as day in the midwest me and my boo are having a fancy dinner at home and reading until we fall asleep i love that y'all get to do that together that is lovely uh sanderson is one of the is one of the few authors that i know when i pick up one of his books i'm gonna have a good time even with my least favorite Sanderson books, I have had a good time. I agree. Um, for example, like Elantris is not one that I enjoyed too much. Like I just, I didn't find myself loving the story, but there were still like so many components that made it an interesting book. And so it's like, even if you don't necessarily love it, it's like, you know, there are still things that you can appreciate. Um, but yeah, it's also like, he's one of those authors where I know like, the book may be slow for now, but when shit goes down, shit will go motherfucking down. And like, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be a thing. And so I, I kind of like trust the process with him and it's, it's not that hard to do so. Um, I need to finish the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes movie comes out next month. I'm so excited about that movie. I'm going to be unbearable when that movie comes out. Uh, I love the Join the Chaos. Listen, I would support Joining the Chaos. Uh, Patreon's quite nice. If I do say, I may be biased, but if I do say so myself, I would say it's one of the best places to be. And the people can vouch for that. I'm not lying. <laughs> um, anyways, yes. Uh, Lois here has access to sprints tomorrow too. Yes. So if you're a part of the $1 tier, which is the lowest you can go, um, we have weekly sprints every Sunday. So you do get access to those. And then you also get access to, you know, the weekly updates and, you know, behind the scenes posts life updates to the monthly bloopers and so even the one dollar tier gets good benefits if i just ask myself and so yes oh and you also get early access for videos um so yes yes tomorrow's sprints are also um accessible for the lowest tier yes anyways let us get into the next sprint which is likely definitely <laughs> going to be the last one but i shall see you guys on the flip side, happy reading, happy productivity, and I will see you guys in 45 minutes.
How did we do, friends? On that very last sprint rooney, I started Long Shadow. And please look at the bookmark I'm using. Ah, it's so perfect for this time of year. Anyways, I started Long Shadow and I read 22 pages. So that's kind of like the progress, you know, a little 8% of the book. <laughs> and that's, that's where I, I cap it, I think, for tonight. I don't know that I'm going to be reading much more before going to bed, but at the very least, we've started a new book, and it's another book off the TBR. And with this one, wait, actually, one, two, three, four. Oh my god. When I finish this one, this will be... I literally completed my October TBR. Wait, what? I did because like all of the other books on the TBR card are leftovers from September so I've I've basically almost finished my October TBR which is quite exciting and then I definitely will have finished Words of Radiance by the time that the month is over so I I we did it <laughs> we've won like honestly finishing a series continuing Stormlight everything else in between I'd say it was a really it was a really good time. It is. It was. It will be. <laughs> Anyways, how did everyone do? Let a girl know. And we'll, we'll close the thing out. I uh, read 32 pages. I forgot how much of a headache this book can give me. Finished The Labyrinth of Drakes. No idea how the last few chapters alone bumped it from a 3.5 star to a 4 star. But it happened. Listen, I love when that happens though. Because sometimes I'm reading a book and I'm like, oh, it's a 3. It's like anywhere between a 3 and a 4. And then like the last 100 pages solidify the facts that it's like a 4 star. And it, it feels quite good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, got to page 260 of Catching Fire. And Joanna is easily my favorite character. Also, should I buy the Divergent series? I mean, it depends. I really enjoyed it a decade ago, so I don't know if it stands the test of time quite as well as maybe The Hunger Games does, but maybe. I'd say, like, don't knock it till you try it, maybe, but it really is just, like, up to you, you know? Finally put my pumpkin rolls in the oven, watched YouTube videos, finished chapter one of Skyward. I have less than five minutes left of Daisy Jones and the Six. Definitely shed some tears. Been there, done that, my friend. Finished my book. Love sprinting with y'all. I read a good old two pages. Cleaned my bathroom. Now I'm doing my hair. And a face mask. Made it to chapter 76 in Hero of Ages. I've got about an hour left, according to Livy. That's exciting. Read about 30 pages of Bunny. Onto the eighth story of Slasher Girls and Monster Boys. About 53% through, finished volume 9 of Spy Family, and decided to continue my Legends and Lattes audiobook. I have almost finished the bottom half of my diamond painting. Hails ye! Uh, congratulations on finishing your TBR! Ah! I never thought I'd see the day, but honestly, I will say the TBR cart and the TBR jar are working. They are working overtime, and I'm quite pleased about it because I didn't think I'd like you know actually read the books but i'm quite pleased with myself it's character development at its finest i just read 46 pages of a court of silver flames you're on a roll mel proud of you we're doing the thing friends all the sitters bleed is ending so well i got about uh 30 pages left started and read 15 percent to fireborn also mel going to continue sprint Ooh. well i guess if you guys want more sprints miss dorothy is is carrying on the sprints on discord over on patreon so if you guys want more sprints you know miss dorothy has got you guys covered and we'll do sprints tomorrow morning as well so like if you guys want more sprints we're starting sprints uh, live show wise tomorrow at 9 a.m central so we'll be doing that and i'll be going all morning and basically most of the afternoon as well so we'll be going for like a solid amount of time tomorrow as well which i am quite excited about because i don't really have much to do tomorrow up until like 3 to 4 p.m so you know it'll be a good little bout of patreon sprints if you guys want to join that uh finished the haunting on the hill three stars disappointed my wife got through 67 pages of house of roots and ruin i just love when i see couples sprinting together it brings me so much joy i love that y'all are doing this in conjunction absolutely love that still working through some emails but the flow is there uh what is y'all's favorite book to movie book to tv show adaptation um i mean i don't know that i've ever seen quite 
uh, I don't know, because I haven't read Lord of the Rings, so I don't have, like, that comparison from, like, books to movie. But I quite enjoy the Lord of the Rings movies. I think it's absolutely, like, a beautiful show of what a fantasy series can look like on screen. And so I love the Lord of the Rings and Catching Fire and Hunger Games, those two are quite great in my opinion. Aside from that, I don't know that I've seen like a lot. Well, I guess Twilight, but there's like not a lot of material to go off of. Like it's like, go on girl, give us nothing. But it's still, you know, it's good. I watch it every once in a while. 92 pages and a secret history of witches. I finished, oh wait, I already read that one uh, for the Haunting on the Hill. Oh, uh, we made 31 pages and I'm 100, whoa. 158 chapters into Heaven Official's Blessing. That is a lot of chapters. Might read some more before bed because I'm really enjoying the book. Daisy Jones and the Six is one of my favorite books of all time. Same. It is such a good book. Read about 30 pages of Other Terrors. Got to page 237 of 290 of Still House Lake. 79% done with Love Light Farms and 350 stitches on my cross stitch projects. Made it to page 200 of They Never Learn and Listen to the Playlist on Spotify. It's a vibe for sure. Though I'm off to bed since work in the morning. I just need to finish this ridiculous book. What are you reading again, Dorothy? I don't know that I know. Um, I got to chapter 15 of Crescent City. Love that. Almost done with my book. I only have 20 pages left. Look at all the progress, friends. This was really, really good. I really love sprinting and I really love hanging out with you guys and just sprinting with you guys. So thank you so much for joining me for the readathon in these past 24 hours of reading. I hope that you guys had fun. I hope that you guys had a good, solid, productive time. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. <laughs> <laughs> meaning with the two videos coming up you know this next week i'll let you guys know when i figure out when the november sprints are happening so that you guys know when like the monthly sprint on you know on main <laughs> is going down so that we can all hang out again and get some reading done and again if you guys want more sprints if you guys want early access and you guys want more live shows and a book club and just like all the things you know just spamming the chat the chat in the indeed the chat um the chat once more with the patreon link in case you guys want to join again biased but do you think it's one of the best places to be as an extension of this thing we've got going on and yeah love you guys so so much and i shall see you next week with some videos okay goodbye